Hello and welcome back to the cove with more frost punk. We are here today with our final scenario. That's right, we have gone through all of them from a new home through to the last autumn and now we are on the edge. So let's go ahead and see what's in store for us today and let's see if we can make it through one piece, or at least as well off as we can be. So after the great storm has exposed an army warehouse, we are sent from New London to set up an outpost there. Times are changing, what will our role in the coming four? Ah, what will be our role in the coming four? Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, yeah, sure, we seem to be up on some kind of myth base. This could be interesting. All right, well then, let's go ahead and start and uh, see exactly what lies ahead. They say the snow is dead, but we've learned to the contrary. Snow is ever-changing, unstable, restless. We survived the great storm. It took away a lot from us. Still, it gave us something in return. Tempestuous winds brought relics of the past to light. Ones that can bring hope for the future. Our assignment was simple. Arrive at the site, build a reliable camp, and create a stable chain of supply. In return, we'd get food and necessities. A square deal. But deals have this peculiar quality. Just like the snow. They tend to change. Well, alright then. This shall be interesting. We are the outpost team. The Great Storm has uncovered an underground army warehouse from the times before the evacuation. New London sent us here to build an outpost and gather any resources we find. We must rely on New London for food. There are no animals to hunt here and the ground is solid rock. Thankfully the weather is fine for now, so, should, so we should survive without the generator until we have other ways of eating. Alright, this is going to be an interesting one, alright? So, uh, let's go ahead and get to work. Let's see what we have to deal with. Okay, quite precarious. I suppose that's what we've got, so let's see what we can do. Uh, we know what to do. Our first task is to clear the road to the warehouse and start gathering steel. And of course, let's not forget to set up some tents. The night is going to be cold without a generator. Alright, so let's go ahead and pause time. We have 65 people, all of which need homes. We have 15 engineers and 50 workers. Okay, so let's get a bit of a feel for the uh, map. It seems that uh, I'm guessing this is the army warehouse. Yep, we'll need to have orders from New London, at least one worker and adjacent to a street. Fair play. Looks like we've got some steel wreckage, some wooden crates. Uh, yeah, there seem to be a few resources lying around. Okay, so that's not terrible. We have some trees, I think. We may be able to harvest them. I'm not sure. And then all the way down here, yeah, we have a couple more trees. And uh, I don't know if we can go this far down. What have we got here? We have a beacon. We have wooden ruins. All right, and then steel ruins as well. All right, so we're going to need to make good work of this. Uh, it is already minus 20 degrees, which is rather chilly. It's going to go down in a couple of days and then pop back up. It does appear that we have a book of laws and in construction, what do we have? Do we have a workshop? Yes, we do. Okay, so 
I think this is something that they're going to go with early. Again, I think that's going to be rather necessary. Uh, gathering posts are also probably not too bad. Same with the cookhouse. Uh, yeah, this is going to be rather tricky. But either way, let's start with the workshop. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will build that. Uh, where is a good spot for this? That's uh, fairly... Uh, doesn't really matter where I put this at this stage, I think. Uh, do we have anything of a generator there? Let's just zoom in for a little bit and see. Okay, so it looks like some kind of lookout tower. Alright, so that's uh, going to be interesting. Alright, so we've got to clear the way to the warehouse. That's obviously our first priority. Uh, but I think we'll go ahead and pop this about there for now. That won't be uh, too much to work around. Alright, so that costs us a little bit of wood and steel. Let's go ahead and we should probably make a gathering post. Keep people a little bit warmer. Uh, can we... Oh, we're just outside of range. Hmm. Well, that's a an annoyance for sure. We can only reach one or the other, which is infuriating. Um, hmm. Okay, so you know what? I think the first thing's first. We're going to go ahead and try and pop this over here. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and tie that road in. Everything's within range, so we should make quick work of that. Uh, but again, that will be important. Uh, we do need... We need some streets. That'll cost us three wood, but again, we don't have that right now. So let's just go ahead and start... Send a couple of workers there. It is chilly so we are going to have a little bit of trouble steel wreckage could be nice it's a decent number of crates as well uh let's go ahead and send a couple of workers here yeah a little bit of steel is not going to be bad for us and then with the remainder uh let's go maybe we can send 10 over here, 10 engineers. We'll keep five spare for the workshop. We we'll spend an, another little bit of work, uh, workers there. And then, let's see, 20 that need. Okay, let's go ahead and send the remainder to. Uh, maybe we go to some of the wooden crates out over here. Actually, coal deposit. Ooh, interesting. We can build a mine out there. Alright, yeah. I think that's going to be the next best one. Uh, we'll send a couple of engineers, I suppose. And a couple of workers. Again, as soon as this goes up, the better. We want to start doing some research. Mind you, that will probably, you know, maybe not be the most important thing right now. After all, it does cost us resources to get going. Uh, we're already up to two wood. That is all that we need. So now we can happily go ahead and build the road. Uh, we need to go ahead and get that sorted. All right, so maybe it's a little bit preemptively uh, enthusiastic on that, but you know what? That's fine. It is what it is. Uh, a night shouldn't be the worst thing for us. We start with some decent amount of hope, discontent as well as non-existent. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, though, whether all of this steel is going to be necessary. But again, if we're going to go ahead and build up a... What do we need? A uh, medical post. Oh, no, that's only timber same for that okay um maybe a resource depot maybe another gathering post probably not a bad thing to have a little bit of steel yeah okay well it is what it is do we have a beacon at all yes technically we do but again we're going to need more timber before we can send anyone out so that will be something to see uh let's go ahead and check out our tech tree for this run I don't know if we have anything in particular we need to worry about. Looks like we have, um, yeah, razors. Um, yeah, that's not bad for warmth. Heat as well, so that is fairly similar to what we played in the last scenario. Same with advanced heaters and whatever have you. Uh, exploration and industry. We have scouts, more of those, speedy scouts, a factory for prostheses, and nothing else. So I'm assuming... I don't know, maybe we'll find access to automatons or something of the like. Resource-wise, we have faster gathering. That should be very good. In fact, you know what? 
let's go ahead and get that going that's gonna be very useful early on and that's very cheap so we will go ahead and do that uh sawmill that will be useful at some point i'm sure and then food health and shelter we have access to a medical post upgrade bunk houses uh, cookhouse insulation homes okay so we can go through the entire housing tech tree and then as well as the infirmary although i am kind of curious that half of this is not full so yeah that is that is a note now let's go ahead and work on that faster gathering we'll go ahead and employ some engineers we have five of them i think that is a very wise research to go for faster gathering is going to help us clear off everything and uh, at the end of the day if that means oh wait that's 12 hours of research good grief that's expensive oh well you know what we have to start it sooner than later we only work 10 hour days so that's probably good enough uh let's see yeah 10 timber and start working on this we can put some people into that gathering post over doing some of those other miscellaneous jobs uh like shuffling them away from these wooden ruins also too having the gathering post we should be just that slight bit warmer and avoid some illness yeah that's going to be quite important but again that's going to take us a couple of hours to finish all right let's just speed up some time while we start working all right oh and you know what we have five extra workers let's go ahead and uh, make sure that they're not doing anything yeah make sure sorry make sure that they are doing something we don't want them doing nothing that's what we're after all right so let's see end of day one we should have enough for uh, it's not end of day one just yet but we're getting closer to it uh let's send that coal pile's not bad let's go ahead and bring back those engineers and another five of those workers we'll send them to the gathering post uh make sure that we make the most of that again if we can keep our engineers nice and healthy that's something that we're going to need if we're going to have medical posts and whatever have you uh let's see about housing how many are in a tent i think it's 10 yes shelter for 10 uh let's go ahead and start well i guess we start as close as we can let's pop one of them over here uh let's go ahead and do a second third fourth fifth that'll at least get built later tonight everyone's busy for now so at least we won't have too much discontent from homelessness uh, that should be fairly well sorted. And then, how are we doing here? We're producing 1 steel per hour and 5.6 timber per hour. Okay, so that's that's quite reasonable. Yeah, that's definitely quite reasonable. Alright, well, either way, that'll be useful. Uh, let's go ahead and get that final... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, you know what? We actually need 2. All right, well, you know, we'll pop that there, and then let's go. Uh, where is the most likely spot for us to put it? You know, let's just go around here. Keep it on the path that has already been provided. No need to overextend a use of our resources just yet. I think that should be good. All right, and how long do we have to establish this operation? It just says clear the road to the warehouse. Okay, so at this point, let's see, that should be another three hours before that wreckage is cleared. And then, is everything fine from that point onwards? I really don't know. Although it is asking for a path to be constructed. Yeah, definitely do need to get that out of the way. But either way, uh, that'll be fine for now. Okay, get in touch with New London. Now we need to rebuild the transport depot so we can get supplies shipped from New London before food runs out. To get in touch with them, an outpost administration will be necessary. Alrighty-o, well let's see what that is. Okay, 25 wood and 15 steel, we certainly have that. And we need to build this too far from the centre. Ooh, okay, so you know what? That seems to be perfectly positioned for there. So let's go ahead and... Uh, cancel this building let's build the administration right there that should be fine yeah there we go we can use that uh, lift and then we will need to reposition a tent let's go ahead and put that and uh, where do we go 
around here, I suppose. Although, you know what? We should probably go side by side. Try and keep things nice and close together. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, two timber there, or do we go for two timber here? Uh, in the long run, I think it's probably best just to branch out from the inner sphere. Or, well, the uh, inner circle, I should say. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, everybody, build your homes. That's going to be a necessity. Uh, we'll try and make sure that everybody is nice and toasty again. I'm not sure how warm these tents are going to be. Yeah, they're livable. All right, so nothing amazing, but nothing terrible. Well, actually, I should say that is actually fairly decent for this temperature, it seems. Just not optimal. All right, so tomorrow I think we're going to have to go ahead and establish an infirmary as well. We've been quite lucky so far that no one has fallen ill, but I'm sure that will happen soon. Now, what do we have here? Administration population 527. Our favor is low, and their relations is home city. Okay, so no shipments to send. Uh, let's see. I guess we still have to do the rest. We also need a transport depot. Okay, where is this? Uh, 45 wooden 20 steel. Okay, so... Yeah, that'll be another thing straight for the beginning of tomorrow. If we can get that built up, that'll be very important. Yeah, we'll need to make sure that we do have plenty of food. Again, we don't have... Wait, we have raw food and not food rations? Oh, bother. Okay, I, uh... Yeah, I should have paid attention for some reason. I thought that was uh, food rations and not raw food. That is my bad. We should have had enough food, but hopefully no one will eat it. Yeah, that's going to be uh, dicey. Uh, I think what we'll do is we yeah, we'll take these five people. We'll go ahead and make sure that we build up a cookhouse. Uh, hopefully no one eats any food at this point. Yeah, a few people are getting sick. We're going to definitely need to make sure that we get that medical post up as well. But again, food first, health second, I think. Uh, we cannot afford to lose what few food rations we do currently have. But on the plus side, though, we will finish up with our faster gathering. So that will mean we are able to uh, gather at a much faster rate. All right, let's see. Uh, Going to move on, chaps. There's still plenty of work to do. Yes, well, we're only starting out. There's going to be a whole stack of that. All right, come on. Just a few more and, and just one more hour and everyone can go to work. Uh, I don't think we have too much as far as uh, illnesses are concerned. Yeah, everyone seems to be all right. All right, there goes that research for faster gathering. That is incredibly useful. Uh, I think at this point now we have almost enough wood. Can we go ahead and do any other tech that we want? Sawmills. Uh, heating. You know what? Brazers could be rather helpful. I know this eats into our timber. But keeping everybody warm means we're not going to get sick. Although, how much coal do we have? 60. Uh, that's not amazing. It truly is not amazing. Uh, let's see. What do we want? I think warmth is going to be a necessity. Yeah, let's start working on that. That'll take only seven hours at least. So that should be done by end of day. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get it. Uh, all built, but it is what it is. Uh, let's check in on this. We are now making 6.2 timber per hour. Alright, that's really good there. No one is starving yet, so I don't think we have to worry about our raw food being consumed, but again, we do need to build the building and make sure that we don't uh, get to that position. Now, uh, let's see. 22 wood. Let's just double check. Cookhouse, 20. All right, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and pop this down right over there. That'll do nicely. Let's recall you. And where were the extra engineers? Uh, where were some engineers? Five over there and five over here. Okay, we'll happily go ahead and pull you back. That'll be fine. Make sure that that gets worked upon. All right. And then hopefully we should be able to make some solid progress there with some food rations. Uh, wooden ruins are depleted. Okay, we're making good progress there. Oh, steel as well. 
All right, let's go ahead and what do we do? Well, we need to build a road all the way out, but at the moment, that's going to be something we can do tonight. So we're not going to spend the 11 wood right now. I think what we're going to go for instead is maybe pick up some more of these crates while they're here. Yeah, we'll send a few more workers there and then what else do we want? Well, it's going to be a few hours until we finish up with all of this. So let's go. Maybe we go ahead and start picking up a little bit of from the coal pile. And then these wood crates as well. Yeah, I think that's going to be what we do. Make sure we have a little bit of coal so we can keep people heated. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it seems to be good enough. Uh, let's see, five extra workers. Actually, you know what? No, we need to reduce this by five. We need to make sure that everybody keeps on building this cookhouse. We only have a limited amount of time before people are going to start getting hungry, and that's not a good idea for us. Yeah, that would not be very good at all. Okay, four hours. That should mean we have a decent shift. Yeah, we should make a quick work of the raw food. Uh, we also should go ahead and build up our transport depot. There we go. That is a monstrous building right there. That is colossal. Alright, but either way, that has to get done. We'll get to work on that fairly soon. I think, uh, you know what, maybe we do go ahead and we'll recall you guys for now. See about you starting this job. This could take yeah, 13 hours. Yeah, definitely better to start sooner than later. Let's send our engineers to start cooking some food. And then uh, we have five people remaining. Let's go. Uh, do we send another five out there? Yeah, I think we do. We want to have this transport done relatively quickly, I dare say. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so let's just double check we've got all the buildings we need. Uh, we have our food, so our housing sorted, the administration building, a medical post. Oh, that still needs to be produced. Uh, how long on technology? Let's just double check. Two hours. Hmm. Questionable. Medical post will be necessary and we don't want people to go gravely ill. All right, we're just going to go ahead and do this now. Uh, let's pop this right there. We'll probably end up putting a brazier around here anyway to make sure that all of these stay up and running. Yeah, that'll just have to be what it is. Uh, but at least we can get some of our, uh, yeah, our medical needs sorted. In fact, you know what? Let's just uh, cancel that for now. Okay, and here comes our first event for this scenario. New London. Good day, Outpost 11. We have with the well done with the progress so far. We'll send you the first food shipment soon. Now that the operation is established, we await the first batch of steel from your outpost. In the meantime, we are dispatching a group of clerks to run the outpost administration. Your children will arrive with them. They are surely eager to rejoin you. Remember that we can always assist you with any problem. Uh, open communication screen or say understood. Let's go ahead and see if we can have a bit of a chat and uh, see where we're at. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. What is our task? We already know what that is. That's nothing we need to re-explain. We have some problems. Okay, New London will decide how to help us. Um, You know what? I think our answer is just going to be a never mind. Okay. Okay, so uh, farewell. All right, that'll be good enough. Okay, and in 12 hours, we're going to have... Okay, 10 administration clerks and 15 children coming to join us. So we will need at least one more home. That'll be annoying, but okay. Uh, this is odd. There must have been some misunderstanding. Our children were not supposed to join us. Certainly not so soon. It won't make things any easier for us. Well, it's too late to turn them back, and at least New London promised to also send food our way. Hopefully, they will keep to the schedule. Alright, I feel very concerned that we might end up in a spot where they're not coming with food, because they don't have any resources with them. That may not be good. 
All right, let's check out this outpost administration. So there is a window here. We can contact other settlements like New London and find the basic information. And to open communication button, we just have to talk to the representative. All right, well, that's nothing too crazy. So let's just check that out. Yep, there we go. All right, favor is currently high. That is nice. Uh, we'll try not to abuse our trust at this stage, uh, but who knows? We have no idea what is to come. All right, we have 80 people, uh, sorry, 80 food rations set up. Let's go ahead and send those engineers uh, away from the cookhouse for now. There's nothing more that they can do. Send our first shipment of steel. We need to gather 100 and we also need to then send it to London. All right, so you guys can gather for now. I think we definitely need to start. Actually, you know what? Let's just work on the technology first. I uh, see what comes up next but yeah we're definitely going to need to send this away that means actually it doesn't have a timer that's a little odd all right well either way uh let's go ahead and see what technology is necessary next I think we can avoid the heaters right now that's not I don't think it's the most useful position uh you know what I think maybe we go for the drawing boards if we can start working on some bunk houses that would be particularly good. Get us a little bit warmer. Avoid some of these heating necessities. Yeah, maybe even pick up some scouts. Coal thumpers could be nice, but right now I think we will be good where we're at. Oh, that costs 50 timber. Okay, well... I guess we're only working till 1800, so that's another two and a half hours. You know what? We'll hold off and see what we can do. We will see what we can do. We have 20 extra workers right now. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are... Uh, we're working pretty well everywhere. All right, we'll send... We'll send 10 of them here and work at that coal pile. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's what's best. We'll keep a careful eye on our timber production. We should have enough... All right, there's that 50 that we need. Let's go ahead and work on those drawing boards. Uh, we will have them arrive in 12 hours, but by then we should... Actually, that'll be still super early morning. Yeah, they won't be too upset. They won't have to sleep. They'll more or less start straight at work. Uh, we don't have the Book of Laws access just yet, but I'm hoping it'll come by soon. Yeah, it could be rather useful. All right, but either way, we're just going to have to sit back and wait things in the meantime medical post that's almost finished at least we can start looking after these sick people before they become gravely ill uh, that's going to be a necessity uh, let's go ahead and see about that let's send in our engineers that should be everybody being looked after fantastic discontent has disappeared uh, wood crates have depleted okay we have more workers all right, let's go ahead and I think at this point we should just go ahead and build this path all the way out. There's really no reason not to. It's just going to have to be what it is. Uh, we need to get this up and running if we're going to go ahead and find some steel. Yeah, looks like we need at least one worker. I'm guessing there is an almost infinite supply of steel here. So go ahead and let them start doing that. We'll need that if we're going to keep everything happy with New London. Uh, let's just check the transport depot. Yep, nothing is happening at this stage. All right, well, could be better, could be worse. Uh, let's see, should we go ahead and try to build any more heating? I think it's not the worst idea. We could very happily put something around here. That wouldn't be bad, although we don't have any administration people yet. We could also expand on their radius as well. But I think for now, maybe we keep this at a level one. We just use this to heat a couple of the homes and the space there. We can probably go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't remember how much coal they burn, but we will happily change that around as necessary. Oh, and you know what? Maybe we go ahead and put one... Might end up putting one around here. 
Yeah, keep people healthy at the job sites as well. Keep those engineers up and running. Uh, what do we go for? For the general work where they're already fairly warm, or do we go ahead and look after some of our housing needs? I think we go for our housing needs right now. That hits one, two, three, four homes. That's not bad. Uh, that'll also hit the administration building, which is rather chilly. Yeah, I think that's going to be the spot where we put it. It does look like we have completed uh, building those roads out towards the uh, army warehouse. So let's go ahead and send 20 workers out over there. Uh, that'll be for tomorrow's job. Uh, how much coal do we burn over here? Wrong button. Okay, 24 hours. It seems... Uh, hang on a second. Let's go ahead and check our economy. It'll... Sh it should tell us how much. 72 per day. Okay, well that is fairly expensive. Uh, we do have enough for now, give or take. We are collecting a little bit more. Yeah, we'll just try and maintain that for now, but who knows, we may need to uh, fiddle around with things. But either way, that is where we're going to call things for today. We'll have our children and the administration arrive tomorrow. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out.